Hello everyone. It's actually the 2nd of September. Um, obviously this footage is not a complete week of my life like I planned it to, to be. But I asked you guys on Instagram if you wanted to just see a random snippet of my day and you all said yes. So this is the video that you asked for that's from over a month ago, not quite. Um, enjoy and have a great time viewing me getting my eyelashes done and discovering a ring light. That's all I got. Mum, Teddy. Hello! Guess who's still on her phone? Me. This bitch. Still on her phone. Welcome. We'll start with the day and time. It is a Wednesday. It is 9.49 in the morning. I have been to a spin class this morning. My face has decided to hate me. It is the 12th of August. My birthday is in two sleeps. So this video is the start of holiday. Holiday. Bloody hell. No one's going on holiday at the moment. This video is the start of my birthday preparations slash vlog. I'm not entirely sure if we're going to combine, if we're going to half. I don't know. So today is lash day and look at my eyebrows can you see the shit show i really want you to see i have one just one little eyelash over here really holding on like she's really doing the most as always i'm running late <coughs> just a lot of information to come out of my mouth in a minute anyway i had all intentions to come and sit and have a proper chat with you at 9 30 and then i started chatting to this person in the gym and i got sidetracked and then i went and got a coffee and i got more sidetracked can i just i just need to show you my new purchase you can't really tell but it's i got it in a 3xl um there's a lady up there having a chat Probably judging the crap out of me. Hey, adults. Hey, going. It's really hot in here. Hot. My lash appointment is in half an hour-ish. I'm getting my eyelashes done. I'm getting my brows tinted and waxed. Um, I have to go. So I'm having a little bit of a, a party at my house on Saturday. But it's a party because of all the restrictions. You're not allowed to have too many people in your house. So I'm going to have a party, which means I need to go home and clean my house because your girl's been working so much that her house has just gone. This week, let's just get a little bit for a second. I realized I'm turning 23. I don't have a job that I love. I, no, scratch that. I have a job that I love, but it's not the job I want to love. But don't know. So a lot of big changes are about to happen. So exciting. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably would have seen a little sneaky sneak that I put up on Monday night, which is a little hint to people. I had a lot of people go, what the hell are you doing? More to be revealed in a few weeks time. Um, I did hear that no one likes you when you're 23. So I'm feeling a little bit upset about that because I've always been excited to turn 23. I also dyed my hair and it kind of turned out like a pooey, like it's still, apparently it's still blonde, but look in this light, it's kind of like a pooey blonde. So I'm trying to decide if I need to fix that before my birthday or if I just have pooey blonde hair for my birthday or do I full send it and go brown again? I'm gonna need to message someone to consult on that because I'm in the mindset where I'll probably make that decision. Mm, my hair looked so much nicer when it was brown. So it matched my eyebrows, my eyes popped. But the thing about brown hair is you get, I get regrowth and it looks like I'm going gray, but it's because I've got really naturally blonde hair. I also would like to go into hibernation for about two years to shave my head off and start again. Probably not gonna happen really got much else to say except it's birthday time and I love birthdays I don't love mine so much anymore just because I much prefer to spoil other people and love other people on their birthdays this is my first birthday that I'm alone in like probably like four no three years three years 
I think, that I'm alone. Alone. I put in alone because if my mum watches this, she'll be like, you're not alone. Alone. It's not me. You're not alone. I'm not alone, but you all know what I mean. Um. So the plan is, I'll just give you the week rundown because... Then if I pop in, I don't have to explain what part of the week we're in. So it's Wednesday today. Yesterday was a reply to emails, do some worky things kind of day. I I feel like this week I've really, really been back on track with my eating and my exercising and everything. Like I feel so good about everything at the moment, which is a feeling that I've missed because I've been just so busy and then so tired that like getting up and going for a 6k walk in the morning is not happening but this week it has been happening and i've been loving my life um yesterday i worked out for two and a half hours and then i went for a, a massive walk i haven't weighed myself because that's not what i'm about at the moment i'm trying to just feel better mentally and physically feel better like i don't think i've put much weight on but i just feel bleh, if that makes sense surely you all know when you're feeling at your peak and your body feels amazing and like just like fit like i don't feel i'm getting there again but i just don't feel the best um anyway so yesterday was a worky day today is a obviously I just went to the gym it's already 10 o'clock like i feel like i've wasted my morning i'm gonna go get my lashes done which will take like an hour and a half two hours i then need to go home and clean my house like really deep clean my house because tomorrow I'm staying at my mum's house. Tomorrow I have to tan and I have to get my... Well, I don't have to. I'm going to get my nails done with one of my bestest friends. I have to mow my lawn and get, like, my fire pot ready and my barbecue ready and just do some, like, prep stuff because Friday doesn't count as a day because Friday I'm spending all day with my mum. We're going to go to the gym in the morning. We're going out for lunch to one of my favourite little cafes. And then my family and I are going out for dinner um, and then I'll stay at my mum's house again and then on saturday my bestest friend is helping me set up for my party just have a few drinks have a good time um and then i'm so excited just to have all of my favorite people in my house like i'm so excited for that like during corona like when restrictions started to ease all my friends from work and stuff were coming over and it was so nice to have people in my house and people in my house that i love and i love to be like a host and like make big platters and like have all the fun so i'm actually so excited for saturday for the prep and then to have everyone in my house and everyone to be happy and having fun and just listening to music and just being chill and then sunday is a nothing day because i plan to be so hungover that i can't get out of bed <laughs> Woo! i tried on i got two dresses from white fox at probably the very end of um not the end of corona but like the end of our proper lockdown that we had where i live um i bought two dresses i was a skinny legend at the very end of lockdown and they fit amazingly and i was like i was so excited i was like this t like skin tight dress from white fox and i was so excited to wear it because like for the first time ever i could put on a tight dress and be like wow i don't hate myself <laughs> tried it on last night I've been enjoying life, bit chunky, little bit chunky. So like it wasn't the worst, but I definitely all night would spend worrying about what I look like. So I'm going to try and buy some sucky in. Not, I don't want them to suck me in, but I just need it to smooth me out a bit because everything just looks a bit, all of my friends said I could wear it the way it was, but I just felt a bit gross. I have two options. One's really skin tight and like bright neon pink, which is not something that I would normally wear, but I just want to be like completely different and just go pink. Um, and then another one is like, it's like cut here and it has a hole here. And my tits are massive compared to this poor dress and trying to squeeze my tits into this tits, boobs, breasts, boobies. I don't know what you want me to say. Everything else, everything just sounds inappropriate. Trying to fit my ladies into this dress is a bit of an issue because they're so big that they hang out down the bottom but then when i put like one of those no show stick bras on that comes out the top so i'm thinking i'm gonna have to cut it but then my tits are massive and i'm not sure if i'm there for a massive tit night do you get what i mean the people understand what i mean when i talk about like when you've got big boobs biggish boobs you can kind of Am I gonna have a tit day? Am I not gonna have a tit day kind of thing? Like you can you can 
you can play the scene however you want to play it. But that dress forces me to have a big tit day. <laughs> My mother hates the word tit. <laughs> I was at her house once saying that I wanted to get a titty job. And she was going into full meltdown because I kept saying titty. Mommy, I want to, Mom, I want to get a titty job. When I get my titty job, titty job, titty, 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 titty. She hated it. Mom, titty. Okay, I'm going to be, I'm actually going to be extremely late now. So I'm going to go and I'll see you. I want to give you a proper before of my lashes. Like, look at this little child trying her best over here. There's me before. Oh my goodness. You're not very straight, are you? Look at that, look how cute. She's literally, I know, I feel like every second video I put up, stop falling. Hold on, there we go. Right, I feel like every second video I put up is of me getting my lashes done. And I feel like every single time I tell you how amazing Tiff is, but I'm just gonna tell you again, Tiff is the best. Look at these. Look, amazing. Absolutely stunning. My eyebrows are done. I just feel like a new woman. It is 11.52. I'm gonna sit here and eat my, eat my breakfast. And then, I mean, I'm like halfway to Kmart from my house. So it's kind of rude to not just pop in. You know? So I'm gonna go to Kmart. I really don't know what to do about my hair color. Cause now I have these amazing ferocious lashes. I feel like I should dye it brown. Am I gonna hate that? I really don't know. I, oh, I fucking love Tiff. And I love it cause when she, she dyes my eyebrows, but then it makes my microblading look like fresh cause she obviously dyes over the top of it. So it just makes everything look I, oh, I love her lashes so much. And she's done them like extra long and fluffy for my birthday. <laughs> right, I'm going to eat this. And then I'm going to go to, I was about to say I'm going to go to TikTok. I'm going to go to Kmart. I think I would like to go for a walk somewhere around here. And then I can just go home and smash out cleaning. This is procrastination at its finest. Right, I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna eat. I wasn't gonna film anything else today. But I bought something from Kmart that wasn't on the list. I had two things to get. Oh my God. Oh, she's a game changer. Fuck buying a new camera. Wait. And you can change how intense it is. Wow. Oh. Oh. I can't. I mean, I'm kind of a big deal now, hey. I've never had a ring light in my life. Just think about how good selfies could even be. Are we playing? No, oh, look. Can you see this? Wow. Why are you not more impressed? Look. I'm trying to show you. Why are you not more impressed with this? Look in the camera. Look. Why are you so grumpy? Like I can literally film any time of day now. And I have a full stand as well. It comes on like a whole tripod. I'll show you. Sorry, my ring light's reflecting. <laughs> I'm so impressed. I actually have nothing to say. I just had to turn this on and I'm so freaking impressed. Jesus.